Our home, the biosphere, is finite and fixed. It can't grow. And if the economy is a part of and utterly dependent on the biosphere, the attempt to maintain endless growth is an impossibility. Let me show you why. Steady growth over time, whether it's the, the amount of garbage you make, the size of your city, the population of the world, anything growing steadily is called exponential growth. And anything growing exponentially has a predictable doubling time. I am going to give you a system analogous to the planet. It's a test tube full of food for bacteria. So the test tube and food is the planet and the bacteria are us. I'm going to add one bacterial cell to the test tube and it's going to begin to divide every minute. That's exponential growth. So at the beginning there's one cell. One minute there are two. Two minutes there are four. Three minutes there are eight. That's exponential growth. And at 60 minutes the test tube is completely packed with bacteria and there's no food left. So we have a 60 minute growth cycle. When is the test tube half full? And of course the answer is at 59 minutes. 59 minutes it's only half full, but one minute later it's completely full. So at 58 minutes it's 25% full. 57 minutes it's 12.5% full. At 55 minutes of a 60 minute cycle it's 3% full. So let's suppose at 55 minutes one of the bacteria says, hey guys, I've been thinking we got a population problem. The other bacteria would say, Jack, what the hell have you been smoking? 97% of the test tube's empty and we've been around for 55 minutes. <laughs> They'd be five minutes away from filling it. So bacteria are no smarter than people. At 59 minutes they go, oh my God, Jack is right. We got one minute left. What are we going to do now? Well, we better give that money to those scientists. Maybe they can pull us out of this. But the world for the bacteria is a test tube and food. How can they possibly add any more food or space? to that world. They can't. They can no more add food or space than we can add air, water, soil, or biodiversity to the biosphere. This is not speculation or hypothesis. It is straight mathematical certainty. And every scientist I have talked to agrees with me. We're already past the 59th minute. So all the demand for relentless growth is a call to accelerate down what is a suicidal path. And by focusing on growth, growth, we fail to ask the important questions like how much is enough? Are there no limits? Are we happier with all this stuff? What is an economy for? We never ask those questions.